Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this. Um, this is an uh, SCR 274, the BC 455 40 meter receiver, which I have been uh, restoring as part of an online class for the Long Island CW Club. Um, and it turned out quite good actually. I just wanted to show you guys, show you how it sounds, and especially I wanted to show you the power supply. So the BC455 was used as an aircraft receiver. This one covers from 6 to 9 megahertz, and these saw widespread use during the war and especially after the war on the surplus market so I still need to fit the covers like uh, like this over the VFO and also the bottom and this will go to the top like this but that's not gonna happen yet so uh, anyway, I uh, this has been completely uh, recapped. I have uh, opened up all of these capacitor cans and replaced the innards with new modern uh, capacitors. All of the resistors have been uh, checked so that they are within specifications. And uh, yeah, I have rewired the filament uh, filaments for 12 volts instead of 28 volts. And that was because I wanted to be able to power this from my 12 volt uh, outlet here in the shack. And possibly if I wanted to have this uh, go mobile. Um, anyway neat thing was that we on that class we designed this power supply this is a DC to DC converter and it's made like the old the old days of, uh, of power supply this is a vibrator power supply a solid state vibrator power supply with this uh, CD4047 a stable multivibrator driving these MOSFETs which in turn they switch the low voltage side of this uh, circuit board transformer inducing voltage into the old primary which we rectify and apply to the receiver um, so this turned out quite nice I'm gonna see if I can hold it so you can see it and also bring some light on it uh, it fits right on top where the dynamotor would go so I don't have a dynamotor if I would have had a dynamotor I would definitely have used that but I didn't so I made this uh, power supply uh, for those of you who have <clears throat> seen some of my earlier videos I had a video on the BC-453, the long wave receiver, uh, on which I had made an AC power supply, which was, you know, modest to be, to be honest. So I always had in the back of my head the idea to make something like this. So that was quite fun to, to be able to design this. Uh, the connectors. On the back I get a lot of questions and you know as I was figuring out how to do this by chance I noticed that uh, the pins here the dynamotor pins they accept an M3 nut just perfectly so what I did was I laid out the uh, hole spacing on the printed circuit board and I just soldered M3 by 6 millimeter brass nuts onto that 
and that turned out to be a very very good connector like so and uh, yeah that is how it looks so I'm gonna power this thing up for you guys so you can you can hear it see what's on Oh, one, one other thing, the tuning knob. In my last video I had a brass coupling that I just hammered into place. This time I actually took the time to design this Infusion 360 and 3D print this tuning knob. It's hard to get on camera but there is an internal spline here that fits just perfectly onto the receiver like so so that's on thingiverse there's a link in the description there's also a link to uh, a write-up on the uh, power supply okay attach the antenna lead So it's uh, pretty evident that uh, these receivers are very wide, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but I think that we're gonna attempt a QSO later, uh, perhaps with the matching transmitter. But it's still a fun little receiver. And uh, if you get the chance to pick one up, I mean, don't hesitate. These are very fun and very, very easy to play along with. So uh, pick one up if you get the chance. So we have a few of these available. If anyone seems interested in uh, building a DC to DC converter or to run their their uh, ARC5s or SCR274 uh, receivers off of 12 volts. So just get in touch with me and I'll, I'll uh, see what we can do. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>